My write-up of that last crime was so ingenious that Perlock Publishing tossed me quite a tidy sum. I believe this next one will do even better. It's baffling. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I believe I should re-interrogate a suspect. The lights weren't working. My husband didn't want to waste any candles, so we retired early. I'm just the housekeeper, but Mr. Cashin was a dear friend. Each morning I bring him his coffee. Today his door was locked shut. My husband is the caretaker. We live downstairs. We have the keys to all the apartments, so after knocking, I became concerned and let myself in and found him like this. <laughs> Mr. Cashin is... was a respected music critic. A very accomplished man. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I believe I should re-interrogate a suspect. I was down in the cellar, fiddling with my experiments. Gone just like that, eh? 
He lived right next door and often came home from his concerts a bit drunk and singing at the top of his lungs. Drove my wife near crazy. That belongs to Mr. Golden. He's an awfully nice chap. We let him use our apartment during the day when my wife and I are out tending our shop. He likes to rehearse here where the light's better. Cashin had an eye for the ladies, no question. I was a bit jealous of him, frankly. <laughs> I'm an amateur chemist. Henman let me set up a few experiments in the cellar. Mr. Cashin is dead? I just saw him yesterday. He looked in the peak of health. If you ask me, he paid a bit too much attention to the caretaker's wife. Scandalous, really. They must have seen each other nearly every day. Last night, I was knitting in that chair. Then I felt quite sickly and opened the window to clear my head. I certainly didn't hear anything. When the lights quit working yesterday, that sweet Mr. Golden handed out candles to everyone. He's such a nice man. <laughs> it's true. I loved him. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. I should return and find out about this. I worked very late. So did he. I only met him once or twice in the two years I've been living here. I was out giving a benefit recital for unemployed musicians. Several dozen people can attest to my whereabouts. I use them to create an ambience when I hold private recitals. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Mr. Cashin's dead. Difficult to believe. He led a quiet life. Out at concerts most nights. Shut up in his room writing the rest of the time. He must have been a lonely man. My wife felt sorry for him and helped him as often as she could. I'm in charge of the running and upkeep of the whole building. I forgot to put it away after I fixed Mr. Golden's music stand yesterday morning. I left it. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. I should. 
should return and find out about this. Yes, be careful with that. It can be dangerous. It reacts badly with heat. <laughs> he destroyed an entire orchestra. All those musicians put out of work. A rancorous old man who had no talent or creativity of his own. I suspect there was more to that mystery than meets the eye. I'm going to look into it. Up to the clink with you! <laughs> <laughs> 